Hello everyone, in this video I am going to show you how to use array ruler in your artwork. So here I am going to my IBS Paint Text app and you can find the array ruler at the top fourth option in the ruler section. There are so many rulers here, normal ruler and symmetry ruler. The array ruler comes under the symmetry ruler which is the fourth option in the top corner menus. And here, when you click on the array ruler, you can see you don't understand anything. If you try to scribble, nothing works here. So I will tell you how to use that tool actually. So here, in array ruler, when you switch on the array ruler, you will get something like this. And you're not able to scribble anything unless you switch, lock, uh, switch that lock. So once you lock that ruler, and if you try to draw something, then you can able to draw if you didn't lock uh, the array you cannot draw so once you locked the array and if you try to draw outside it will though repeat but it will repeat outside that area also if you uh, try to draw anything other than that yellow color box then it go it's going to repeat like this so make sure you draw on the yellow color area so that it repeats only within that uh, rectangle shape so now if you want to increase the number of division on the x and y you can use this division x and y parameters to increase the number of boxes once you're done increasing just switch on that lock and you can draw okay and again if you draw in any other box other than that yellow color box again it's going to repeat in this way so you have to draw whatever you want to draw inside that yellow color box. Now let's see how to adjust this um, you know, panel. So this is the array panel. Now use your two finger to make it bigger or smaller. So don't use the anchor points to zoom in zoom out. Now if you use these side anchor points you can able to shrink it horizontally and vertically. But if you want to shrink it overall like zoom out zoom in then you have to use your two finger. Now this is how it works. You can easily shrink it, make it thinner. Now you can see I'm using rectangle tool on this. Now you can see this is how we can use this tool for drawing building, windows or anything that repeats like this now if you, I, I already told you if you want to shrink it vertically horizontally you can use these center of anchor points now if you want to make some inclination make some angular 3d um, kind of um, you know angular movement then you have to use those four corner points now using those four corner points help to create some 3d perspective for your artwork now you can see when I change the anchor point automatically which is the biggest box in that perspective will get that yellow color box now you can see we get like this and once you've done this you can actually do any other thing by just changing this anchor points so don't worry about uh, like if I just place this anchor point in this way I can only able to use the array later on only this angle no, not like that you can change these position whenever you want also you can also change the number of divisions all those things now I will show you how to use this array ruler practically because many times uh, people know how what is the purpose of that uh, tool but uh, they cannot uh, able to implement that in practical way uh, when it comes to drawing an artwork they will be drawing by hand so here i will show you so you can see in the blue color buildings i have done the array uh, use the array ruler to create the windows now for this orange color building now i'm going to create a clipping layer with the linear burn blending mode and for this building now I'm going to use the array ruler to draw these windows all those things uh, details which are going to repeat so if you want to draw something very practical with a single rectangle you can use like this automatically but when you want to repeat them then click on the array ruler so this is the 
uh, this is how I used at last in this canvas so that's why it's showing this uh, number of divisions and this the angle now I'm placing it in the angle of that building and increasing the number of divisions now you can see here is my yellow color box now I'm going to fix this and lock this when you draw on this yellow color box it's going to repeat make sure you reduce the thickness of your brush I'm using felt tip pen hard here now yeah you can able to draw easily and next I'm going to try on this angle so again if the angle of uh, inclination of that building details changes you have to change the angle of the ruler as well so I'm changing this array ruler position like this then I'm going to draw here because here is my yellow color box now you have done it in just one second so it's quite easy you don't need to check the number of uh, gap between these rectangle all those things it will do everything automatically now place it here and now I'm going to uh, give some other um, divisions for you to understand so like this if you want to have some horizontal stripes alone then you can have like this so I just have so many divisions on the Y division but only one value on the X now if I draw like this then it's going to repeat on the top so that's about this array ruler now let's try for this building just switch off that lock and or you can call it uh, releasing that lock then place it here now let's try some other division for your understanding then you can do in either way just uh, fit uh, I mean place uh, or increase the number of division and then you can lock it or otherwise you can lock it first then you can add the detail now you can see if I didn't draw on this yellow line a local box and if I try to draw in somewhere it will not repeat in that way so now we have done the vertical stripe then let's try I'm going to leave it as it is here or if you want you can do so again only the angle varies I'm going to uh, keep the entire building in vertical stripe now so if you want to try for the building which are at the background here you can see the these are building which are at the front this uh, this is also building which is at the front but if you want to try for the back side buildings like this you can able to draw do it easily on this line this side because there is no building at the front so there is no intersection you can do it easily just lock it and do it like this you can also add multiple details on that single box now if you want to do it here it's a uh, little bit difficult because you have already added vertical stripe details on this building which is at the front if you try to make anything further you can see it's uh, uh, the details are falling over the details which you have already done so make sure you do the backside buildings first and then move on with the front buildings now for here 
again if you want to change the number of divisions you can change so I'm going to keep uh, uh, just two divisions 2 cross 2 again I'm drawing on the wrong box so here yeah we got it so yeah this is how we have to use the array ruler to draw the buildings or anything that going to repeat uh, in this way so yeah you can also try the perspective form like the way I tried Thank you for watching. I hope you learned uh, fully about this array ruler and if you want to learn any other tool, tell me in the comments below. And thank you for watching. And if you want to learn the full illustration of this cityscape, I'm adding the link here. Thank you for watching. Bye.